foundation of Afrobeat is from Ghana. tell our story you need to tell our story properly because it is a legacy no one takes their country's legacy or takes the, their legacy and just mishandle it. you need to be very careful what you put out there what i disagree with is that he credits ghana for the creation of afrobeats understand and let me be clear that is totally false ghana did not create afrobeats or afrobeats it is not a ghanaian creation Juju music played a role in the creation of Afrobeat, Fellas Afrobeats, as well as funk, jazz. So Ghana alone or High Life is not the only thing that played a role in Afrobeat. There were a lot of other songs that inspired the creation of Afrobeats and also Afrobeats. First thing is where do you go to hear our music? Our music is Afrobeat. We Nigerians know this. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Ayo doesn't know this. So this high this whole talk about you know, it's it's everybody's music and it's no, it's 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 garbage. It's a ridiculous talk. It is not everybody's music. It's specifically for one country, Nigeria. The documentary really did not cover the history of Afrobeats. As a matter of fact, the documentary only covered a certain timeline, which is the 90s. It focused more on the uh, new age artists, artists that we have today. It's not a history in terms of where Afrobeat came from. So don't see that as a history of Afrobeat. That documentary is not a history of Afrobeat. It's more of a, uh, a journey of the new wave sound Afrobeats and how that evolved in what we know today. Ayo, respectfully, really, really disrespected, in my opinion, Nigerians and the legacy of Fela. It sort of denies Nigeria the credit of Afrobeats. It sort of merges everyone together. So it makes it, it gives the impression that Afrobeats represents the entire continent, which is how we have it right now. The Afrobeats with an S is not just Nigeria. It is something that every country in Africa lay claim to. And that's what I have a problem with because it denies us, Nigerians who created Afrobeats, who created Afrobeats, deny us the credit of that. And so to put that in his documentary and to further promote that is where I hold him responsible. So that action and behavior denies Nigeria and steals and robs Nigeria of his legacy. Do understand that it is a legacy. Our music is our legacy, okay? Understand that. It is not a Ghanaian creation. It is irresponsible with all due respect to Mr. Ayo, who I admire and I appreciate his really kind of uh, taking this task on. But if you're going to tell our story, you need to tell our story properly. And to put that out there is irresponsible. To put that information like that out there is irresponsible because what that says is that Ghana handed Fela the uh, formula for Afrobeats. That's what he said. That's exactly what that is. That fella somehow went to Ghana. And you hear a lot of Ghanaians make this ridiculous claim because they can't stand that Nigeria has really evolved in this music. So they make this claim and there's nowhere in history where that is the case. You will never find any credible history where fella went to Ghana, learned Afrobeats in Ghana and came back to Nigeria. You will never find it. What you're going to find is that Fela went to London to study in London. Fela was influenced by struggles that African Americans were going through in, in this country. Fela was influenced by the civil rights era, the civil rights struggle. Came back home, you know, the country has just been formed. Nigeria just gotten its independence. And Fela saw what was going on. Fela was born in Nigeria. He was influenced by Juju music, Fuji music, Yoruba music, as well as jazz, by the way, as well as high life. So there are all these influence fella to create his own form to form his own music which you know as Afrobeat. so that's where i have a problem with mr i because he puts it out there and creates now this conflict where it further divides and takes away from nigeria it is okay for people to label nigeria as a corrupt country it is okay for people to point out the bad things about that country but when that country now finds and develops their own music. Now they have a problem. They want to merge it with the entire continent and say this is a continent music. This is our music. This is for the continent of Africa. No, it is not. Afrobeat is Nigerian's creation. It's Nigeria. 
Yes, Nigeria represents Africa. Nigeria makes Africa proud, and we are so very glad about that. But to lump everyone in, and to lump the entire continent into a music genre and say any music coming out from that continent is Afrobeat, uh, is where I have a problem with that. Because where is Nigeria's music in that? Where, 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 is, where is our legacy in that? Because anyone from, let's say, uh, Kenya, from Congo, the way this is now being marketed and the way the, uh, the world has now taken this and you're running with this is that Afrobeat is an African music. There's no other time in history where one music genre represents an entire continent. So the idea that Nigeria now, Nigerians, Afrobeats, somehow is representing the entire continent, it's, it's a robbing of that legacy because any one of those countries can claim it. So that's the point I'm trying to drive here. The way this is now being marketed and the way the, uh, the world has now taken this and you're running with this is now it takes away from our country and our legacy and the legacy of fella. It is your responsibility to protect your legacy, to protect the legacy of fella.